What if I told you it's possible to become financially independent with a debit card, specifically this debit card? Don't believe me? Well, I'm Nadia, one half of the Wealth Twins, and today I'm gonna to give you the information you need to decide if the Charles Schwab checking account and the Charles Schwab debit card are right for you. In my opinion, it's the best card to have and more people should have it in their wallets. I will explain to you the four key things you need to know before getting this card, how to get the Charles Schwab debit card, and how I personally have used the Schwab debit card and the high yield investor checking account for 15 years to become financially independent. So if you're ready to find out more about the benefits of having the Charles Schwab high yield investor checking account and the Visa Platinum card that comes along with it, and how using both can help you improve your personal finances, hit the like button and let's get started. When it comes to Charles Schwab, many people know them as a broker, but they are also a bank. And I would go so far as to say it's one of the best banks to have, especially if you're interested in personal finance for beginners or learning how to start investing in the stock market. Which brings me to my first point. And that is, in order to get the Charles Schwab high yield checking account, you would first have to open a Charles Schwab brokerage account. I understand it's a little off-putting if all you wanna do is open a high yield checking account and get the Visa Platinum card that comes with it and you're forced to open a brokerage account. We've been asked by many people who are interested in this high yield checking account, whether or not opening a brokerage account actually affects their credit. And the answer is no, this does not affect your credit. And actually it could be a positive thing. It's a positive thing, especially if you're looking to invest in the stock market later on down the line. And it's something that you need to do if you really wanna become financially independent. When I first became a Charles Schwab banking customer, I was a little upset that I had to open a brokerage account just to take advantage of the benefits of the high yield checking account. But I quickly came to realize that this is something I can use to my advantage and it made it very convenient for me to have both a brokerage account and a checking account at the same company. Having both a Charles Schwab brokerage account and a checking account made it easy for me to make my money work for me in the stock market. I was able to start buying my investments through dollar cost averaging, make interest on the money that was in my high yield checking account, and start building generational wealth for my children because I was able to link my checking account to their custodial accounts, making it easy to transfer money into the accounts made for my children. By having a Charles Schwab brokerage account linked to my high yield checking account, I was able to start buying dividend stocks, ETFs, and crypto related companies like Coinbase or crypto related ETFs. If you're looking to use your high yield investor checking account in order to buy crypto, you currently cannot buy or sell individual cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum through the Charles Schwab platform. Maybe it'll allow you to do that in the future, but right now you can't do it. But it's good enough for me to be able to buy crypto related companies or crypto related ETFs that are not as volatile as actually investing in the coins. When it comes to opening an account and getting a debit card, you can open it online and finish the process very easily and you will receive your debit card within three to five days. So this is very quick, even though everything is happening online. Now, the next thing you need to know or consider when it comes to opening one of these accounts and getting the Visa debit card is that you have to know how you're gonna fund your account. Since Charles Schwab has no brick and mortar branches, and what I mean by that, there's no physical location that you can walk into in order to deposit cash into your account, you have to fund your account in different ways. Now I know you see those Charles Schwab branches all over, but those are handling more to broker clients. They're not dealing with people who are only interested in handling their bank account. Now the only problem I have with this Charles Schwab high yield investor checking account is the inability to deposit cash into this account. Now, the way to get around this is by opening another bank account at a different bank that has a brick and mortar location so you can deposit cash into that bank and then you can move the money over through a wire transfer or regular bank transfer into your Charles Schwab checking account and then use your debit card from there. You can also fund it in different ways. Another way you can fund it is by having direct deposit from your employer or wherever you're getting paid from put directly into your checking account so you can use your debit card or you can fund your account through Zelle. I like doing Zelle because it makes it easy and you can do it directly through the mobile app. Another way you can do it if you have checks and you like using checks is to write yourself a check and mail it in or go to one of those branches that you do see around and they will take the check and deposit it into your bank account for you. Now, if you like Venmo, you can also set up Venmo with Charles Schwab like you would any other account and have people send money that way so you can fund your account too. 
Now moving on from the one reason I do not like this card on to the main reason why I use this card. And that is for the reimbursement of ATM fees. If you have any confusion as to whether or not you can use your swap debit card at any ATM, the answer is yes. You can use your debit card at any ATM anywhere in the world. This is unlike other debit cards that force you to use specific ATMs or only use the ATMs of that particular bank unless you want to pay fees. With the swap debit card, you can use an ATM anywhere and ignore the fee because that fee will be reimbursed to you. This is fantastic if you are at a place where they abuse you with ATM fees. Like the casino I was in a couple of weeks ago when they wanted to charge me $6 as an ATM fee in order to get my money out just to gamble in their casino. If I didn't have the Charles Schwab Visa Platinum Debit Card, I would have had to pay not only a $6 ATM fee, but I would have had to pay a fee from my own bank because that ATM would have been out of network. This is on top of me losing money at any of the tables that I played at, even though I only spent $75. I'm already choosing to lose money because I'm choosing to gamble but you're gonna try to make me pay the house an extra $6 just to get my money out so I can lose it at their casino? Come on, make it make sense. That's not happening and if you can't tell, I hate fees and that's why this is one of my favorite features of this card. I ignore ATM fees, I take my money out and I know I'm gonna get reimbursed right away from Charles Schwab. Not only do I use my Charles Schwab debit card in order to avoid high ATM fees, I also use it when I'm traveling abroad. In my opinion, this is the best debit card for travel and the best debit card for international travel. Listen, when I'm traveling abroad and I need to get cash, I never exchange money at the airport at those currency exchanges. I feel like it's always a scam or a rip off and I'm not getting the best rate possible. What I do is find an ATM and take money out of my account with my Charles Schwab debit card and I know I'm getting the best exchange rate and I'm not incurring any foreign transaction fees. Even if I don't want to do that, I can also use my Charles Schwab debit card at any restaurant or any store, just like it's a Visa credit card, and use that and not pay a transaction fee. One of the things I will warn you to do though, is make sure you call Charles Schwab and tell them that you're traveling abroad because you want them to not block your card because they think any use abroad may be fraud. So you want to just give them a heads up if you plan on using it and taking money out while you're traveling internationally. By the way, this is just a good tip. No matter what company you use, you should do this if you're traveling abroad. I go abroad extensively and this has helped me a lot. Now, speaking about fraud protection, I can tell you the fraud protection on this debit card is great, almost too great. And I'll tell you why. Over the past 15 years of being a customer, I have had my card skimmed in a couple of places and I've never had a problem getting my money back by calling the Charles Schwab customer service and saying, hey, these charges are not legit charges. Please reimburse my account and put the money back in my account. It has never been a problem and I've had more than $100 or more than $200 taken out of its account by fraudulent behavior. Now I say that the fraud prevention is a little too good is because sometimes when I'm moving around, I'm driving around, I'm shopping in different areas, I will go to use my card and it will get blocked because they think it's a fraud. Now that's a little embarrassing when I'm at the cashier, especially because it's a debit card. So it looks like I have no money in my bank account, but all I have to do is call Charles Schwab up and say, Hey, look, release this transaction, release my card. This is me using it. Stop with the fraud prevention so that I can use my card freely. Now, if you don't call before you leave the country, this could be a pain because you're, you're gonna be paying an international call fee or just trying to use your cell phone abroad. It's bigger pain than what's necessary. So just make sure you call and tell them that you're traveling abroad and you don't have to worry about it. Now let's talk how I used the Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account and the Visa Debit Card in order to reach financial independence and build generational wealth for my children. Now, to make this work, you're gonna need two bank accounts to make this go as smoothly as possible. And to make it even better, make sure that second bank has a mobile app. Charles Schwab has a mobile app, so you have to find something else that has a mobile app to make this as easy as possible and make it seamless. Now, the bank I use is Capital One because it hits both of these requirements. And if you want me to make a video about Capital One, let me know in the comments below. Now, you can become financially independent by just using the Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account, but 
I like I said before, you can't deposit cash. So if you get cash for your birthday or from your side hustles or anything, you want to be able to deposit that cash as quickly as possible, put it in your bank account and put it to use for you as soon as possible. So it just makes it easier to have a bank that has a brick and mortar location so you can deposit that cash quickly. Now, once you decide on which way you want to fund your account at Charles Swap, I want you to set up automatic transfers in order to make sure that you're moving money from your checking account into your brokerage account. And I want you to do this on a frequency that you can handle. It could be monthly, bi-weekly, every two months, any way you want, but just make sure you can handle it and make sure it's done on a consistent basis. Now, once it's set up, I want you to start choosing investments that you will start buying through dollar cost averaging. Now, if you're not familiar with dollar cost averaging or you're new to investing in the stock market and you need more help, in the description below, we have a link to our courses that are perfect for beginners to start investing in the stock market. We got you, okay? I'm teaching you how to do this in order to become financially independent. And this is not theory, this is something that works. Check out the link below to the courses if you're interested. And this will help supercharge the process for you so you can reach financial independence as soon as possible. Once you begin buying investments through dollar cost averaging and on a consistent basis, you no longer have to worry about the US economy or inflation when it comes to your money because you're buying your investments over a course of time and it doesn't matter what the price is because over a long period of time, it's just gonna average out. But in the meantime, you're building wealth for yourself. And if you do this in your children's custodial accounts, you're building wealth for them too. The key to this is to take yourself and emotions out of the equation when it comes to building your wealth and let automation take over. This stops you from getting into your own way on the road to financial independence. If you do this process consistently, you will be surprised at how quickly your portfolio will grow along with those of your children. And at this point, everyone's winning. If you would like more videos about Charles Schwab and learning how to invest, check out the videos that we have here. And in the meantime, please subscribe and share this video.